Bob and Go. It's like a combination of surfing, skating, and snowboarding. And when you get going, you can really, really fly. But what's really different is the way you can turn, move, and curve. It's, it's unlike anything I've ever ridden. You just, you get on it and you can go. If you want to go uphill, you don't have to touch the ground. If you want to go downhill, you can carve all day. You know, once you're rolling the first 10 feet, you're, you're hooked, you're sold on the web tie. I have one of those other ones, but uh, this one's better because it has four wheels and a uh, curvy middle thing, so you can do a lot more on it. If you can uh, wiggle your hips and bend your knees, you can ride a whip tie. The decks are also bigger, and it's just, it's just easier. I mean, there's no reason not to have bigger decks like this. It's a much better design. It goes fast, and it's easy to stay on it. All you got to do is carve and go. It takes just a little bit to get the hang. No pushing off, just use your body to propel. And look at this, you can even go uphill. Because a traditional skateboard is so rigid, it takes way more energy and a significantly more skillful rider to do the same kinds of moves you can do on the whip tide. You may have seen other dual deck boards before, but the whip tide's patented flex neck connector is unlike anything out there. No one else has board technology and engineering like the whip tide. There's a special set of bearings inside that allow both decks to rotate around the vertical, horizontal, and the Z-axis. Because of the patented flex neck connector, you don't have to push off, and you don't need a lot of force to get moving. Just carve and go. Unlike some of those other boards, the larger dual decks give you a more stable platform. The grip tape gives you a perfect grip, plus the spike traction zones give you great foot control and help you to carve so you can do most of the tricks you want to do. And ones you've never experienced before with any ordinary board.